And now, Maine Web News. The United States Senate recently passed what some are calling the Food Tyranny Bill, S-510. S-510 empowers the FDA to recall the produce of small farmers without evidence that the food is contaminated. They simply need to have a reason to believe the food is contaminated. So instead of being required to act on facts, they can now act on opinions. More people may have to resort to eating genetically modified food, which may be more harmful to our health. In America, the people are represented in Congress by representatives and senators who theoretically reflect the will of the people. The vast majority of Americans were against the food bill that just passed through the Senate with broad bipartisan support. How might something like this happen? Let's look at a few clues. The Open Congress website lists the International Food Service Distributors Association as one of the major supporters of S510. International Food Service Distributors Association is also listed as one of the top campaign contributors to Maine Senator Susan Collins. This has happened before. Over 90% of the American public opposed the idea of bailing out the so-called too-big-to-fail banks, yet it passed through Congress, both houses, with broad bipartisan support. Maine Senators Olympia Snow and Susan Collins both voted to bail out the big banks, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, and who are some of the top campaign contributors to Susan Collins and Olympia Snow? Goldman Sachs and Bank of America. Well, money talks. We all know that. The question is, does big money speak more loudly to our Maine senators than the voices of our people? This is Jared LeBlanc keeping a close eye on our elected officials with Maine Web News.